Inmotion just increased the value of the V14 Adventure massively, and it's about to be the very first certified safe electric unicycle ever made. The Inmotion V14 Adventure was announced to have a 4P battery configuration with 50E battery cells. Now I know this sounds probably like a little bit of nerd talk, but it's really important. All of the V14 Adventure's competitors have this exact same battery type. The problem is it only has up to 10 amps available of discharge current. This isn't bad, but if you really want to send it, you want something that is a much higher discharge. Now we have official confirmation from Jason at eWheels that InMotion is going to be selling the adventure with 50S batteries. This is absolutely huge. The Samsung 50S batteries are capable of 25 amps per cell of continuous current. This is two and a half times greater than the 50E batteries that were originally announced for the adventure. We don't know if this is gonna be the case for all the adventures across all vendors, but what we do know is that eWheels is selling it with 50S batteries. Let's put this into layman's terms. If you buy your V14 from eWheels, you'll be getting the safest EUC possible compared to the other vendors out there. On top of this, you're gonna get the same range as you did with the 50E batteries. You're gonna get better performance and less battery voltage sag. This makes it, at least on paper, the safest EUC ever manufactured to date. But there's more. I know some of you may have seen me complain about the V11's lack of waterproofing and InMotion's claim about it being IP55 certified. As we know, that is not true. So I was reasonably suspicious that maybe the V14 may not actually be as waterproof as they claim. So I publicly put it out there, probably ruffled a few feathers, and I asked them for proof that they actually are getting this waterproof certification. So at first I was met with crickets. They didn't respond for about a week or so. And then they came through. Not only did they publicly post something on Facebook directly addressing my claims, but then they also personally reached out to me to inform me about this and really keep me looped in on the subject. What they did is that they followed IEC 60529 certification processes, which is the international standard. Anyone can self-certify as long as they follow all of the procedures in that manual. As long as InMotion followed the manual exactly as they said they did, then they indeed did gain that IPX6 certification. After that, I asked them about what their testing process is for their waterproofing of the bearing. After all, this is the very first thing that is likely to go in the event of a rainstorm. This is the one moving part that is likely going to be getting some water ingress. So what InMotion did is that they tested it in two different ways, with the wheel on and off. When they did it with it on, they tested it being completely immersed in water and operating at 20 kilometers an hour. Now again, these are some pretty big claims and for all I know, they did it once and then they said, eh, it's good, it's certified. I don't know, I'd love to see it to be certified outside of InMotion because as we know, Chinese manufacturers of EUCs are not always the most honest. Case in point, the IP55 rating of the InMotion V11 and every single manufacturer's claims about the speedometer, which is always overreported. I could go on, but I digress. The bottom line is that it's really awesome to see that InMotion is trying to do the best they can with internal testing. But wait, there's more. I personally reached out to Jason at eWheels and he said that he is personally looking into getting the V14 UL2849 certified. This is a really, really rigorous testing process that only some really high-end, very expensive products tend to go through, but it is an official confirmation of the safety of an electronic device. UL2849 certification is very comprehensive. It doesn't just cover one or two little things and say, yeah, it's good after we splashed it with a hose. It goes above and beyond the IEC 60529 certification as well. It covers the batteries, it covers the BMS, it covers everything for battery safety. eWheels really deserves a huge pat on the back for this because this doesn't just benefit eWheels, it benefits everybody. And this process is really costly. 
25 to $30,000 out of pocket, and he would need to be working hand in hand with InMotion to get this done. On top of that, he'd need to get access to nearly a dozen pre-production samples just for the testing certification process. So the bottom line is this, the V14 may or may not get UL2849 certification, which is a huge out of pocket expense from eWheels that benefits everybody. These are two massive pluses that really increase the value of the V14 adventure. Speaking of value, InMotion said that the early bird price is 3,300 US dollars. I don't know if this 50S upgrade is gonna be costing the consumer a bit more, Hopefully InMotion maintains their end of the deal and they're only charging 3,300 US dollars with the 50S batteries. But if you want to get these 50S batteries with the lowest possible price, I highly recommend that you pre-order for the first batch before it's released. If you're thinking about getting a new EUC, check out the description for a bunch of affiliate links and discount codes to all the best vendors. The clock is definitely ticking and the price is absolutely gonna be going up. So lock that price in as soon as you possibly can. There are people that have expressed concerns over the 50S battery capacity being reduced to 60% after only 250 charges. This is true in as much as that's on the spec sheet, but it doesn't completely tell the whole story. According to this spec sheet, as long as you don't ride it like an absolute maniac at absolutely all times, which is basically impossible. The battery capacity really does not diminish that much. In fact, at a 10 amp constant discharge, the 50S batteries will go down to only 82% of its original capacity after 600 charges. This means that your batteries are going to last a really, 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 really long time, much longer than you're probably going to actually ride the wheel. So we really don't have any longevity concerns to be truly worrying about. As always, these videos take a long time to plan, film, and edit. So if you thought this was educational, insightful, or entertaining, please smash that like and subscribe button. Thanks for joining me, and I'll see you next time.